shortstop, TD. TD was the first one to tell me to go get this. The dude, when he had got out, he was looking for an artist. And me, knowing Nipsey, and knowing that Nipsey was doing music, and he had a strong push, you know what I'm saying? I said, well, you know what? I got somebody for you that might be all the way ready. Hey, look, I'm going to give you like 16 more. I got, I got a question. Have you ever felt this feeling of paranoia from killing? Knowing your days numbered and your freedom ain't a given. When the bodies get dropped, cuz the Johnny's is hot. It's when the sloppy niggas make their first mistake and get caught. Facing football numbers that have you show his true colors. Crime reduced to nothing, got him crying for his mother. When Nipsey and Big U first got together, Big U was a, probably a 30-year a veteran in the game already. At that time, him was a kid. Like, him was 17, 18 years old, so Big U was a, a part of Nipsey's upbringing. Yeah. Nip was on his own and out here on the streets. And so I was showing him what it looked like to do business and how to go to the next level of this business. Because nobody can come into the business and know it. You know, you got to learn it from somebody. Their relationship was special because they both were workaholics. You know what I mean? I think they both wanted to be successful in that world. He was this cute kid with these long braids, very respectful always. To my family, Nipsey was like a son. 